What up, people? Hope all is well out there in Jitsland. Uh, just finished up a session here, getting the gym clean and whatnot. Um, topic we went over today, it was cropping up a few times today, and it's been cropping up this week a few times as well. Um, I <laughs> said it at the end of a number of classes, but then another class group comes in, and another one, another one, and the same thing keeps happening. Um, when you look at performance coaching, so it's something that comes up in any program that has regular high levels of performance. There's usually, there's five kind of fundamentals that they that crop up again and again. Usually any successful program will have two. One would be how often you train. Two would be how long you've been training. Three would be how long the training sessions are that you do. And four would be the intensity of the sessions. Five, the one that we're looking at today, is having a professional attitude towards the training. This is something that just cropped up again recently. I saw Lachlan Giles' ADCC camp. They were touching on it. The guy who was helping them, sports scientist, um, was touching on the Great Britain cycling team. Their attitude of just 1% improvements, improving anything that could improve your performance by 1%. Because as we know, when it comes down to a really, really tight match, it can be less than 1% that makes a difference. Um, the first time I medalled at the Euros, it was the same weekend, it was Nogi Euros, and the London Open was uh, put together, I think it was 2012? Um, I could be wrong, but in the final, um, I had a guy in a full-blown, uh, not rear naked choke, but you know the short choke, kind of Marcelo style, um, similar to the one Khabib would have done on McGregor, not over the jaw, I had it under the neck. And I was after doing... I think it was something like 10 or 12 matches, give or take, over the day or two. And I just was sloppy with my grip. So as the guy, just fatigue messed it up. As the guy was going unconscious and he started spasming, my grip slipped because I didn't have the level of grip that I should have had. It didn't withstand the pressure. And the guy slid, the grip slipped as he was going out. And that was just enough to give him a little bit of air and he came back. And he won by a point or two. So he was just holding out to, for the time to run out. And um, that's what happened. So really, really nailing in any small thing that you can that will help your performance can make the difference. And today, it's sometimes it's such simple things. Like it can be technical details like that. But the ones the last couple of days have been... One was people just not being back with their partner after, like, we were doing, um, effectively, it was a six-minute round. One-minute breather, then six-minute. One-minute breather is up. We've got all the groups back together except for one, and it takes your man another 20 seconds to start this round. That 20 seconds, if we're only doing five rounds, that's five times 20, 100 seconds, say a minute and two-thirds out of 30 minutes. That's... I don't even know offhand, but say approximately 4% of your rolling time you just lost. Just right there. For no reason other than you left your water bottle the far end of the mat compared to where you were, or you just too, took too long to get to it and get back. A minute is plenty of time to get your water in. Um, another one, tying your belt and tying your trousers. The belt comes off a lot, fair enough. Tie it in the minute. If it's not tied in the minute... Don't tie it. <laughs> but a minute should be loads of time to get your water and tie your belt. The trousers, letting your trousers become untied halfway through a round. I understand some positions can really put a bit of strain on it. But if not, like the one today was just normal, <laughs> standard scenarios. And trousers kept coming off. And I was watching him tying them. And it turned out he wasn't tying them right. Um, just doing a loose knot that was going to keep coming loose. Rather than getting a solid knot and doubling up on it. And just by virtue of that, by t tying a knot properly, will make the difference, that 1% difference that we're looking for. So there's a lot of, like we were saying, a lot of components to a successful training program, to your progress. And one of the easiest ones is being professional and looking to do whatever you can to progress more. And these small things can do it. And the third one that I was noticing in the last few days, actually, was during drilling people talking. Now, I understand you can talk about the technique a little bit, but a lot of time it was one person trying to coach the person, other person how to do the technique, but they didn't fully know how to do the technique anyway. And that's not how drilling works. You know, there is a time when you figure stuff out, but it's more so like when you're at home, you're watching the ta tape, technique, whatever, thinking about it. 
your sorting out your understanding of the move. You can consult with your training partners outside of training, consult with your coach, during, before class, after class, you can just grab some. oh, can I just try this out, see if how it works. When it's time to drill, generally speaking, that isn't the time where you only get two or three reps in in a three minute round, you know. Um, just these small adjustments in attitude is the easiest way to make the pro faster progress. You know, like how long you've been training, that's a hard one to fix. You started when you started. How often you train. Some people are restricted by the work schedules, etc. How hard you train when you do train is one we cannot look at. And how long the training sessions are when you train, that's another one that people might be restrained in. But one that we all ha can do easily is just having a more professional attitude in and more responsibility for our progress in training. It'll make a huge difference and it's the easiest one to add to what you're already doing. So when you're getting your water, be ready when the round starts. The, round, the rounds are the most fun. Why would you want to miss some of it? Same with when you're tying your trousers, tying your belt, talking to your friends, etc. Just get the work done when you're meant to get it done. All right? If you do, you'll progress faster and you'll go further. Talk to you guys again, or else I'll see you on the mats. Usah.